Hi, I'm Greg Holmes, and I'm the chair of the Department of Neurological uh, Sciences here at the University of Vermont College of Medicine. The mission of our department is to train the next generation of neurologists and uh, neuroscientists. We're able here at the University of Vermont to really integrate education, research, and clinical care in a rather seamless uh, pathway. Uh, and this, I believe, makes for a much better trained uh, physician or a neuroscientist. Uh, I think our program is really unique. There are very few neurology programs that incorporate as much education and research as our program. And the education is it's great. It covers all areas. Uh, our educators are, are very involved in teaching undergraduates, medical students, graduate students. For example, in our department, we have the Gross Anatomy Lab, so that's under the direction of our, our department. It just makes it a much more exciting program, this give and take, uh, the energy between the educators, the researchers, and the clinicians really ends up helping um, the patient and really will help your career development enormously. I really would like to welcome you. Um, we're going to take you on a virtual tour of our department. But I really want to thank you for showing your interest in a position here as either a resident or a fellow uh, at the University of Vermont. Well, when I started at UVM, when I looked at um, options to go for a training, I wanted somewhere with good clinical experience, um, very hands-on, direct, kind of a good faculty to resident ratio. I did my residency here and also fellowship in CNL, neurophysiology. Um, and I trained here and I felt myself and my co-residents got excellent clinical experience, becoming uh, very good clinicians. And then I decided to stay here as an, uh, an attending and I continue to uh, supervise medical students and teach them and the residents and have my own busy uh, neurology clinics. So when I was looking as a, as a student at where to train, my priorities were becoming the best neurologist clinician that I possibly could. But I also wanted a place that, that had a culture that was consistent with where I wanted to be. Uh, I came here, I was struck by how approachable all of the faculty were. I felt the warmth here that I didn't feel at a lot of other places and, and so chose to come to, to Vermont and train here because of that. My mentors, my, my faculty were always really approachable always supportive and it was that culture that drew me here but it was also the same exact culture that has kept me here. This is a very unique place because it is a top-notch academic hospital surrounded by the beauty of the lakes and the mountains and forests that are untouched and it, it's a very unique setting to, for high-level academic medicine. The resources here are really equal and and better than a lot of other places in the country. Everybody who needs high-level care in, in this very large catchment area of about a million people, they all come to the University of Vermont. So I think we're really rich in resource and, uh, and rich in community here. We're able to offer a high level of care in terms of trauma and stroke. We have all the uh, major specialties and most of the major subspecialties. I guess across the medical disciplines and then also within our neurology department. There's a number of uh, nationally and internationally uh, recognized uh, physician scholars here at this institution and they're here because they, uh, for the same reasons that I'm here, that they are very happy in Vermont, they love living in Vermont. We have a categorical residency program, which means we're a four-year program starting with the internship, uh, which is collaborative with internal medicine, and then three years of neurology. Uh, we have a total of 16 residents, four in each year of the program. So our goal here is to use this short amount of time, really, these four years, to help ensure that our residents feel well prepared for a career in clinical neurology. You know, with four residents in each class, we really know them all as individuals. They're not just a group of trainees. We've had a lot of residents come back as fellows or come back to join faculty, and it really feels like they're already our peers and our colleagues. And I, I think that kind of breakdown of hierarchy and real collaboration between faculty and residents makes this place special. Our neuromuscular program has five uh, faculty physicians and we have one neuromuscular fellow and one clinical neurophysiology fellow who's training with us. 
One of the strengths, I think, of our fellowship programs and also of our residency programs is that they're of smaller size so that residents and fellows uh, really get to know the faculty and the faculty really get to know our residents and fellows. And because of that, we're able to sort of tailor the educational experience to each individual learner. We here at UVM have a three and a half week clerkship for neurology. And I think one thing that's nice about our residency program is there is a really intimate collaboration between the clerkship and the residency program. Um, and what that allows for a lot of teaching opportunities for the residents and for the fellows to work directly together. Uh, our residency program is always very highly rated in terms of its teaching and so we're looking for residents who are interested in teaching and who really do a great job teaching our medical students. Even if you're not practicing in an academic medical center um, in your future career, uh, you will be educating nurses, your colleagues, your patients. The teaching is a really integral part of a residency program and a fellowship. It happens across you know many diff different parts of the medical system. So, like as fellows, for instance, we'll often have our fellows come in and teach both the residents and the medical students in our academic half days. And then residents are teaching in a variety of places, just like we as attendings are, sort of teaching on the wards, on the fly, but also with some more structured lecture time as well. I think there's an intimacy at UVM that isn't always there at larger institutions. So one of the benefits is that we are relatively concentrated into sort of a single campus. It allows you to be in close proximity to a basic scientist who's in your department, a clinician, uh, whoever you might need to interact with. And the same holds true with the other departments within the, the university. So we often collaborate with the Department of Psychology, the Department of Biomedical Engineering, um, the Pharmacology Department are all, again, within a several minute walk distance to, uh, to the hospital. And it's one of the things that attracted me here is that I, I do think it punches above its weight in terms of its academic production. And you can look at that based on you know, the number of publications that the department puts out e each year and who's involved in those publications. Frequently, there's residents or medical students that are involved in those projects because the people doing the research aren't separated and you know, at the bench, they're at the bedside. The sense of belonging, the, the team spirit, the, the collaborative effort in different faculty members where they are working together as a team to provide best education. We have many clinical faculty members, including myself, who are collaborating with our basic neuroscientists, and we are coming up with new techniques and new thought uh, processes um, that open the window for more research and more collaborative efforts over there. So the unique thing that we have here for our Headache Fellowship is that we have a significant intertwined ability to meld the clinical portion with research. And a lot of our faculty within our division are doing both uh, research as well as um, seeing patients. We also have a role in advocacy. We are actually one of the few centers in the country that nationally takes on headache advocacy at not only a state but a national level. In the end, it is you want to get experience in the broad spectrum and the repertoire of diseases that you are going to be seeing in the future, and that is what is freely available here. The experience that they get in training here is really broad spectrum. So the major uh, pillars of training in neuromuscular disease are good training in clinical neuromuscular disease, in the pathology of neuromuscular disease, in the electrophysiology or EMG training of neuromuscular disease, and in the research aspects of neuromuscular disease. They are not, I can say, there are not very many programs in the country that really cover all those four major disciplines of neuromuscular disease. We have a National ALS Center of Excellence in the department and the institution. We have a National Center on Myasthenia Gravis, which is a neuromuscular disease. We have uh, a, a Muscular Dystrophy Association clinic, which uh, provides experience in a variety of neuromuscular diseases. So I think that the, the, the basis for fulfilling training and getting a good all-round training is excellent in this institution here. 
I think we really value the concept of mentorship with our trainees here, but also one of the things that I think we do that is is a bit different is mentorship and being an advocate for your trainees is not always the same thing. And I think as a group, we've done a very good job as being an advocate for our residents and an advocate for our fellows so that when they're ready to leave the fellowship or ready to leave the residency, we make sure that they're being placed in a good fellowship if they're, apply or if they're a resident applying for a fellowship at another institution, or if they're a fellow, we're doing what we can to get them the job they wanna get when they're finished with the fellowship. And I think you know we really pride ourselves in being able to try and make those connections for our trainees. I did my residency in, actually in family medicine in New York City. And when I was looking for fellowships in headache medicine, I found that the University of Vermont had an excellent training program and it was uh, offered a high quality of life and I wanted to start a family about that time. And I was very pleased to be accepted to the program. I completed my fellowship in headache medicine and I knew that I wanted to pursue a career in research, in headache research. And so they created basically a research fellowship for me and I was able to do a second fellowship in research. I stayed on and now uh, I've been attending here for several years. So for me, the people make or break, you know, me wanting to go to work every day. And something that has been a real draw and kept me here is that I like the people I work with. I like the people in my department, I like the faculty, I like the staff, I like the people that I interact with outside of work. And, and so that has been a real fulfilling aspect. You know, I really, I came to Vermont for the training, but I stayed because of the lifestyle. I work with uh, med students and residents pretty closely and many of them will tell you how I describe UVM and I describe it kind of as the Disneyland of hospitals. It's not unique to UVM, it's kind of UVM and Vermont together. The training is intensive and you will see what you need to see and will be challenged here. Really, just uh, Vermont in general, it's a, it's a very special place. UVM is a special place. I did my neurology residency at University of Vermont and uh, more or less fell in love. I ranked UVM first in my match and was fortunate to come here. So I've been in Vermont for quite a while now, including doing my residency here between 2015 and 2019 another year of neurology fellowship, and then staying on as a faculty member. Uh, I consider myself to have been uh, very lucky to have been able to remain here uh, at the University of Vermont. There's uh, a number of great reasons for uh, wanting to live and work uh, here in Vermont and at the UVM Medical Center. Um, as someone with young kids, it's always been a great place to uh, raise a family. There's so much uh, cultural opportunities here in Burlington. Uh, the proximity to other large metropolitan centers is very good. But then of course we have uh, the quintessential outdoor opportunities um, that a place uh, like Burlington, um, being in New England, being close to Lake Champlain, and also being close to the uh, Green Mountains has to offer um, lots of great opportunities don't have to travel very far out of Burlington in order to uh, feel like you're really in the countryside or in the mountains. Um, everything from biking to hiking, uh, snowshoeing, uh, lots of great day trips in the area. So just um, again, excellent place to, to live, to work, to raise a family. Um, and so those are a lot of things that have kept me here. So the question why I came back, the atmosphere of the institution and and specifically the atmosphere of the neurology department. During my residency and fellowship, I was very fortunate to work with faculty members who were really committed towards the educational mission. The faculty would treat you more as a colleague and a friend. And there I came to know the atmosphere of the department as well as the atmosphere of the, of the university. My uh, previous chair, Dr. Bob Hamill and his wife, Donna Hamill. They were really uh, fatherly and motherly figures, not only for me, but for the rest of the department. They were there for, with us with every achievement, whether that was professional or personal. When I was asked to come back, it didn't take a long for me and for my family to come back. We're, we're all friends. Yeah. So we all came in here to talk to you just because 
uh, you know, we're all friends. We, we would be way better doing this, hanging out with our buds, mm -hmm. so. The thing that drew me to this institution when I was interviewing virtually was the culture. And I think we all agree on that. And the main thing is that you have to find out if these are your people, because these are the people you're gonna work with all day for hours upon hours, right? And then when the residents came on and they were talking to us, everybody was so laid back. No one had any airs about them. And so that was the main reason I said, this has to be my place. So the interview process went really smooth and I agree. The, the culture is fantastic and the residents and attendings are all great. Yeah, I had a great first impression uh, during my interview, which was online, but turned out to be very true. Um, I think what stood out the most is how easily you connect with people over here. Uh, the positive energy, culture, good vibe. So this was a very easy decision for me. Even with being in internal medicine right now, the culture at UVM really fosters this family connection between people and also incorporating if you have significant others or family, making your family a part of the family as well. It was actually an attending that I had that said, you really should check out University of Vermont. And I thought, I'd never live in Vermont. I don't have any family ties up there. And I turned out that it was my first interview. And I just fell in love with the place. I fell in love with the people. I fell in love with the environment. And the rest of my interview process, I couldn't stop thinking about the University of Vermont. It ended up being my first choice. And I'm extremely thankful that I chose this place. So I chose to return to the University of Vermont because of that collegial environment that I felt. It's a very supportive environment. Um, the residency training is absolutely wonderful here. There's a lot of support for you as a faculty member as well. Um, and I think in part, a lot of what is unexpected during your training is that you will see a diversity of pathology because we have such a large catchment area and you will leave this training program feeling incredibly well prepared to move on for a successful career. Education and training is the core, but I believe for a professional growth, there are some other factors which are involved as well. Um, and, and those are the things which you do not get in books. Those are the things which you, which you learn from your peers and from your mentors. Residency is hard, uh, no matter where you go. And if you look across residency programs, there's lots of things that you can compare from one residency to another, what their call schedule is like, what exact rotations they have. But at the end of the day, they're all gonna be hard and you wanna like the people that you're working with. So they have to be approachable, willing to pitch in, um, always willing to kind of lend a helping hand. And th that's something that you really need in a resident and that you want in a fellow and even in an attending. Um, I think that's a really important thing that we look for in our residents here. And also that people are just collegial and easy to work with. There's lots of collaborations that happen across different departments here. And we're sort of a medium-sized hospital and so we have to, we look for and strive to get people who sort of play well in the sandbox that are easy to work with. Everybody here on faculty and I think the residents who come here want to live in Vermont. They're, they're kind of a self-selected group of people who then work really well together in this environment. And so when I'm reviewing residency applications, I read the whole package. I don't look at any sort of cutoff numbers or a specific type of person we're looking for. I, I try to read between the lines and find someone who I think could thrive here and would benefit from the mentoring and the support of, of this environment and also make us better. And that's the really cool thing is everybody that we bring into the residency program elevates the program and, and we learn as much from our residents I think as, as what we teach them. But I really want to thank you for showing your interest in the position here as either a resident or a fellow uh, at the University of Vermont. I think we have a great deal to offer and we'd really encourage you to um, uh, apply for a position here.